Hey everybody, today's video is all about something that is totally normal, perfect, and complete routine of a period, and that is blood clotting. If you've had your period for a number of years, you're used to this, and if you just recently started your period or you're new to the menstruating game, just know that nothing is wrong with you, you're completely perfect, and blood clotting is very normal. We're going to break down all of the common questions regarding clotting and hopefully give you all the answers you're looking for. The first question that might come to mind as far as blood clotting goes is what are the blood clots during our period? As you may know, when you're on your period and when you're menstruating, you are shedding the lining of your uterus because we are getting rid of an egg that was not fertilized and getting rid of everything so that our body can start fresh and new for ovulation next time it comes around. If you have varying period colors from dark red to bright red to brown to rust colored just know that's very 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 common and very normal especially during the first one to three days of your period that variation is normal as well as blood clots clotting is very normal so what causes those very normal very common blood clots during our period as you know when we get a cut it starts to scab and our body immediately releases procoagulants which starts the clotting process this is our body's way of trying to stop the bleeding and stop us from bleeding too much during our period we sh shed the lining of our uterus and even though it's not a cut the clotting is still our body's way to regulate the amount of blood that we're losing so that we don't lose too much blood. In other words, our bodies are completely amazing. When we see some clotting during our period, anticoagulants are also released, forming a balancing act that ensures the blood is thinned out enough. During the heaviest phase of your period, the anticoagulants can get lost by your flow, so they don't have time to kick in and break down the clots before they are released from the body. This is why during the first few days of your period, when your flow is the heaviest, there is a higher chance of seeing some clotting. For some women, they experience clotting only the first few days of their period, and for other women, the clotting goes up to the end of their period. But just know that if you're in either of these scenarios, it's perfectly normal and your body is doing what it's most comfortable with. Again, clotting is very normal and there usually is not need for concern. However, if you have any of the following symptoms that I'm about to read off, make sure you contact a medical expert and get to the bottom of what's going on just in case there's a medical condition lurking. But a few of the symptoms that might be a little bit concerning if they are seen hand in hand with clotting are, number one, if your clotting is grayish, two, if you experience periods that are much longer than seven days, if the clots are consistently larger than a nickel, if you pass a lot of clotting in a short period of time, and number five, excessive bleeding when you have to change your menstrual cup, tampon, or pad every couple of hours. These are all symptoms that could, some could potentially mean nothing, but just to be sure if you have any of these symptoms, make sure to consult a medical professional. Another question that comes to mind along this topic is, is my period blood normal? Like every menstruating human, we are unique and there are varying shades of red that can come through our period. If we mentioned, like we mentioned before, any of the symptoms previously mentioned could be a cause for concern, but basically our blood can range from bright red, which means our body is expelling the blood faster, to a darker red or even a brown. If your blood is darker red or brown, that just means that the blood's been sitting in your body ready to come out for a while. One thing to note that when you're on your period, make sure you drink a ton of water. Our uterus and our vagina and everything down there relies on water to function properly, so make sure you're staying extra hydrated and you're limiting caffeine and alcohol and all those things that can dehydrate you. Try to focus on staying super hydrated so our body can function properly. Take it from us, periods can be very messy no matter what, and they can be extra messy if you're using pads or tampons, and if you're somebody who's uncomfortable seeing blood clots on your pads, consider switching to a menstrual cup because you only have to put it in in the morning, you can take it out 12 hours later, and everything is contained in the little cup, you just dump it out, rinse it, clean it, put it back in, and you're good to go. It's a really good transition from a tampon and a pad, especially if you don't like dealing with sitting in your menstrual fluids. That being said, do you have any questions regarding how a menstrual cup works, or do you have any questions about which menstrual cup might be right for you? If you do, please drop your question in the comments below, and we would love to help answer those for you.